everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. In today's video, bringing in another venison recipe for you. I did a spicy cheese stuffed venison meatloaf. This is another recipe I like to do with my venison is meatloaf, but I had some cheese, so I thought, well, I'm gonna stuff it in there and see how it goes. I had some bacon, so I chopped it up so I could put it in with my venison so I could keep my moisture level up and to put flavor in there as well while I was cooking it. Put a good fine dice on my bacon. Then for my spice, I took some jalapenos and diced them up really good and fine and threw them in there. And then same for my onion as well on the cut for it, I diced it up good and fine so during the cook it would cook all the way through you wouldn't have a crunch in there during your eating. For another layer of spice I threw in this Everglades heat. And there's my cheese. The cheese was just Velveeta, some sharp white cheddar, and then Parmesan. And I mixed it up together really well and threw some hot sauce in it too for some more spice. Half my venison and then I stuffed it with my cheese. Covered it back over to it there. And once I had it stuffed in there and formed right, I put it in the oven. You'll see I put it in the oven here at 350 degrees. And for the first part of the cook, I cooked it at 350 there for 30 minutes. And then once that 30 minutes was up, I took it out and put a glaze on it with my kicking coffee barbecue sauce put it on there and then I put it back in for 15 more minutes so that sauce could tack up good on it there. And there's where I applied it. And this is where you can see afterwards, you can see how it's got really good and sticky and tacky on the outside and that's what I was looking for. And once I took it out, I let it rest for about 10-15 minutes so it'd be easier to cut. And here coming up is the good old money shot with the cheese dripping out. There you go. Oh, cheese a lanch. Anyways, that's the recipe for you today. I hope y'all liked it. Love y'all.